Tonight, the sun has set on the great American eclipse, but this afternoon people from across the country stepped outside for their chance to view the celestial event. And while we may not have had the path of totality, we did have 90% coverage mm -hmm. of the sun. Our very own Storm Team 10 Chief Meteorologist Jeff Hanowich is in Maryville, Tennessee, and he was able to witness a total solar eclipse. Jeff, what was it like? It was absolutely positively amazing, John. And what was interesting is right here on this very location, 16 different states were represented here. Indiana, Michigan, North Carolina, New York, New Jersey, the list goes on. Also four different countries, Australia, England, Belgium, and Germany. So this really was a world affair here in Maryville, Tennessee. Now, earlier in the day, we uh, met up with the Samsel family. They are from New Jersey, and boy, did they ever come prepared for the big day. A, uh, co a uh, cozy lawn blanket, food, but more importantly, a Mac Daddy telescope and fancy cameras. They drove 14 hours south to Tennessee, a trip made longer because of traffic for something they've been looking forward to for a long time and for something they soon won't forget. We found out about it five years ago and I said to my husband, we will be there for totality. Mm -hmm. I have my total geek on. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm very happy about that. <laughs> And then we actually had a chance to talk to them after the eclipse, and here's what they thought about the eclipse afterwards. They summed it up beautifully. I, I talked to uh, the, the wife, the husband, and the two kids, and they said things like they were in awe. It was pretty. They said it was like something they've never seen before. And I said, was it worth the wait? And they said, we'd wait 500 more years for this to happen again. Join me in that club. I was in total awe as well. This was a sight that I will never forget for as long as I live. Frankly, you should have heard what people were saying in the lawn area with me. They're like, you don't know what you're missing if you didn't see it. So we were very lucky to be here today, guys. So, Jeff, you said that it brought you guys together. It's kind of um, a, you guys bonded everyone out there uh, watching this together so, because it was so memorable. That's exactly right. It was interesting because there were about 4,000 people here. Frankly, Lindsay, I probably met about 2,500 of them. And, uh, you know, I've, for instance, I can tell you that the Samsel family from New Jersey, they're coming through Roanoke on Friday. And they are going to come watch the 7 o'clock newscast at WSLS. <laughs> so we made pretty good friends with the Samsel family. And we made a lot of good friends with everybody. We sat next to a guy from Germany. We sat next to a lady from Belgium. And these are friendships that hopefully will last much longer. There was a lot of exchanging of uh, emails and, and phone numbers amongst uh, about 1,000 to 2,000 of us today. Reporting live here in Maryville, Tennessee, I'm Storm Team 10 Chief Meteorologist Jeff Hanowich. Back to you guys.